What got you there? Was it? What got me there was I had bought a car that was tagged up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and my man, Dang. And my, 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 my dude I was getting money with, he was a little older than me. He told me, like, don't get in that car, yo. Don't get in that car. But he don't know the conversation to have to do. It's tagged up. That joint is official. You know what I'm saying? Only thing missing is my license. But I can, you know, at least, you know, I ain't got to, you know, worry about no grand theft auto or nothing mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I can deal with them taking me, you know, tow the joint, get somebody pick, you know. Yep, right. That's how we was thinking. Right. But he ain't do a good tag job. When I got pulled over, that joint was reported stolen. Mm. So when he came to pick me up from the precinct, and we was riding back uptown. He was saying certain things like lines that sounded all too familiar. And that's what I remember. I left my book at the spot where we was getting money. I left my book. I had a composition book with all my stuff in it. And he was reciting some of the joints in there. Back to you. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, and I, you know, because, you know, it's private. Right, right. No, this ain't stuff I share with you, with right. nobody. Right. Even though I may use one portion of it to include how I would communicate to somebody like you, but I would never do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when we coming from, that's like a sign of weakness. That's a sign of you falling apart. Like you right. can't handle your hand. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? Exactly. You ain't supposed to be knowing that about right. me. But instead of him discouraging me, he encouraged me. Mm. He was mm. like, yo, you should keep doing this. Mm. And that and that lit the match. I'm still trying to figure out how you messed up, how you fumbled Cali, how you fumbled Beverly Hills to end up back in New York. Man, it's not, he's not going to tell us. Up. You ever figured yeah. it out? Yeah. Not, I mean, I am doing the documentary. He said it was. He said it was a travesty. I'm like yeah. that. I was waiting to hear how travesty we was going. Well, to the get. thing is, there was no rehabilitation in that whole process. <laughs> Okay. George came to New York for six months to shoot New Jack City and left me in California by myself. So you you can figure the rest out. Mm. Mm. Say less. You know what I'm saying? But mm. I say like Liddy. It was no way he was gonna be yeah. able to fulfill the commitment that he yeah, told my grandmother that he was gonna that. hold it down. I got it, like, man, that was it. Right. That was it. I'm mm-hmm. in Beverly Hills. George had an M6 back then, 89, Corvette. Volkswagen Cabriolet, I got access to all this stuff. I'm out there crashing his girlfriend's car. Look, I mean, I, the list goes on. I did something. Every, every single day was something new. New. Mm. And I think that the people that was the recipients of it admired and respected George so much that they cleaned it up. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just getting off. Mm. I'm just getting just off. No doing doing yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And to the last straw, I'm gonna say that for something. You know, I'm gonna say that for the, the last that, straw, the, the, the defining moment that got me express mail back over here. Because I'm gonna hold on to that. You know, <laughs> did you become affiliated out there? Yeah, I did. Actually, I did. You know, um, I got affiliated with a well-known Crip gang, and the thing about it is crazy because. This particular hood was more of a reflection of where I came from. Cause you had like a a real ethnic game thing going on in some of these bigger neighborhoods, mm-hmm. you know, like South Central, Compton, Watts, whatever. These is rooted in this stuff. Right. But my hood, my clique, they was more West LA, close to the Melrose. Stones throw from sunset, but the same token, they was vicious. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it was it reminded me of how we is. You know, New York, we know how to have fun. We know right. how to, you know, we know how to loosen up. Right. You know? And instead of wearing like lumberjack shirts and all that, like most of my homies was wearing like, you know, Michigan, because you know, we man's film. We used to have the Michigan joint with the big M, you know, you know, it was it, they just a little bit more trendy, they used to call it in LA. Like they right. a little more trendy. Right. So you fit in. So I fit in. I found my crew. I yeah. found some people I could relate to. But the one thing about that whole experience and that union that I had with those guys all the way up to me leaving the music business, that was something else that got left behind. You know what I'm saying? All of it, all in one one kit caboodle was all done. But the one thing 
I pride myself on that I never felt compelled to bring that culture to New York. Mm. Mm. Even when you saw New York adapting that culture? No, when I seen New York adapting, I became appalled. You know what I'm saying? Because what it did, it birthed a lot of cats that wouldn't have never been recognized as certified New York dudes. Mm. You wouldn't have been a thorough New York dude. You wouldn't have been able to hit the island in 1990, 91, you know what I'm saying, and hold your own. Right. But now you with this bunch, you know what I'm saying? Right. You get to rock off somebody else's arm. Right. You get to throw yourself under somebody deodorant, and next thing you know, you, you know, got, you, 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 you lit. You got the rep that they got. Exactly. And you didn't earn it. Yeah. But with Cali, it was different because... Why I was so infectious is because you were being you were being reminded that if them dudes come through, they ain't gonna say, oh nah, that's Lil D, he's trying to play ball. Don't hit him, hit them. That ain't how it work. Mm. You from that hood. Everybody goes. Everybody. Everybody. Goes. So now with that fact being established, you might as well. It becomes right. one of them situations where you might mm. as well. This where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. They ain't gonna care. Because you come always through. going over such and such side of town to see your aunt. You know that's 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 on site. And they know that you from over this way or whatever the case may be. It's, it's just a matter of time you just never make it back. Right. Mm. You know, you mysteriously catch a flat. You can't fix it. You know what I mean? So that is why that mentality. And that lifestyle was so infectious because it was by necessity. Our thing was hustle. That was our necessity, right? right? You don't, you're not able to do what you need to do. You got to go to this, you know? Right. You don't go to no rag. Not, not in New York. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It made no sense. It didn't make no sense. Yeah. So when I seen that culture coming, I started seeing a lot of fraudulent dudes, dudes that definitely wasn't reputable dudes start emerging. And it's like, like who? Right. The dude that used to have the salty tear streaks in his body, used to, I mean, who? <laughs> OG triple what? Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like these dudes start right. getting, no, that's, that's five star bloody, like what? what? Five what? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm for, for me, earlier on, I, it was a lot of the soft niggas that was just but that's the thing falling under the under the umbrella protection, and I couldn't understand it. Like I, I was going around the hood pulling people's <clears throat> sleeves up, like they like yo, what we doing? What was going on? Protection, here? fear, yeah. acceptance. Like, why are we doing this? Yeah. We not. This ain't us. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying because it's like I'm not a fan of criticizing nobody choices. Right. I criticize the effect of your choices. Your choices is yours. Right. You got to live with that. But when your choices start to affect, you know what I'm saying, those in proximity, those who didn't sign up, you know what I mean? Now is a problem. Yeah. You know, and, now, and that's what yeah. was happening. And then the problem is they're going unchecked. To be to be honest, one thing that I did notice was um there was also there was also something missing as far as community. Yeah. The community started like it used to be like uh, you know, your aunt would live on this floor, your your cousins or your your grandmoms was on this floor. Yeah. The families stayed together. That, as that community started to disparage. P these kids were missing something to belong to. Acceptance. 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 Yep. Community. Yep. Really. Like, we all stick together type shit. That was missing. The and they found that. A, a lot of dudes found that in that. It, yeah, they did. And, that, and that's probably the only thing that justifies it yeah. for me. I don't know about anybody else, but I understand what it is. Like, we just started with talking about fathers. Lack of, you know, father's presence. That's a void they got to get filled. Mm. That's a void that has to get filled. Go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And you took all of this into the music business. Yeah. Because your homeboy started rapping his, your own words back to you in the car. 
He literally took something that was a product of my vulnerability. You know what I'm saying? Which in our environment, that's what some dudes is waiting for. Yeah. That predatory instinct yeah. that we yeah. got, we waiting to see a crack in somebody's armor so we could just squeeze through it. Right. Right. But instead of him doing that, he just mend that joint real quick and was like, yo, this I didn't even tough. know you was doing that. I right. used to see you writing and stuff. I didn't really know what you was doing. Mm. Like, mm. this joint is nice. Keep doing it. I'm like, all right, whatever, man, get my book. <laughs> you know? All right, we're gonna take a five minute break. This hot book, trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.